Thanks to Hisense for sponsoring this video. So at this point, it seems like I have reviewed like an endless amount of TVs, especially recently. And every TV you get in the studio, in all fairness, does seem to be more and more expensive, and cutting edge and cutting edge uh, as we go. But there's still a gigantic section of new sets out there that are not getting enough love. They're dedicated to the more budgetary side that are still punching far above their weight class. So today, talking about one of those TVs, it is this guy. It's the Hisense U6H Quantum ULED 4K TV. It's a mouthful, but it's trying to prove that you don't need to spend just all the money to get an incredible TV set. And Hisense is actually so confident, they're willing to put their money where their mouth is and kind of pay you to buy one of their TVs. Uh, but I'll get there. All right, so maybe you've heard of Hisense, maybe not. They've been in the TV game for a while. Like I mentioned, they traditionally sort of put out TVs that are more uh, on the budgetary side. Uh, and as the years have gone on, their tech has continued to improve, all while keeping sort of those lower prices, especially compared to the competition. So this guy, the U6H, continues that story. You're getting a lot of the features you see in higher end TVs in a more affordable package. So you're getting things like a quantum dot layer, 4K upscaling, dedicated game modes, HDR, Dolby Vision, full array local dimming, smart assistant, I'm not sure I've seen this one before on a TV that can remember uh, a built-in web browser, all in a package, at least in 65 inch variants that I have behind me for under 700 bucks. Obviously pricing with TVs is like all over the board and changes seemingly daily. Um, right at holiday time, you we'll probably see these things for even cheaper, but as of this filming, that's the current price. We'll put links down below uh, if you wanna check out what the current pricing is. And for that price, what you're getting out of the set was generally pretty surprising. I did not come in, in all fairness, with like sky high expectations. Uh, the picture here uh, is bright, colors were vibrant, and they looked like it. Uh, now you're not gonna get deep black levels, obviously, like something you'd get from uh, an OLED panel. This is still using traditional LED technology, so black is gonna be some version of dark gray. Uh, but Hisense did, to their credit, add full array local dimming to the set, so you're gonna get better contrast than what might come out of other LED sets. That's where things were most impressive. So we get new sets and we generally have a series of like five videos that we'll watch, sort of get a sense of how the TV could perform. Things that test contrast ratio, things that test blooming, uh, colors, black levels, how the black and colors kind of merge together. And this did a really nice job with all of those. Now again, I'm coming from someone who's been looking at these really high-end sets that we reviewed recently, and this did really well. I think the best example was actually uh, in this video here where the greens popped so beautifully and the black on the background, you saw a separation. Now maybe it was my brain, but to me that looked black. No, I, I know that it's not, but if you're just sitting back watching something, it's a really good set. So now because this is LED, you will see the picture fade a bit as your viewing angle goes more to the side. So if you get like the bad spot on the couch, basically every TV does that except OLED. So probably nothing new here, but at least bear it in mind. Uh, if you're looking at the TV straight on though, or a little bit off, you're gonna get a really good viewing angle. You can see a big difference in the brightness on the set between SDR and HDR content. So if you play like anything HDR, it pushes the brightness to 600 nits, which is plenty for bright rooms, even rooms with like direct sunlight coming in. Overall, though, I was really impressed with the picture quality that the set was able to produce, especially for its price. And speaking of price, talked about this in the intro. I've never seen the TV manufacturer do this, so I think it makes sense to mention it. Uh, Hisense, at least as of this filming, is so confident in this set, uh, there's a nutso deal going on. They have what they're calling a no regrets guarantee, uh, plus $100 back to you, loving Hisense reward. They'll give you 100 days to try out the TV in your home. If you don't like it, you can send it back, no questions asked, for a full refund. But if you keep it past 100 days, uh, they'll give you 100 bucks. Now there's some details to qualify and that kind of stuff, but all the information will be down in the description. But 100 bucks, a great deal. I think it tells you a lot about how confident they are in the set. They just wanna get these sets in homes. So people can actually see for themselves uh, how good it looks. Part of what I think makes Hisense so confident in this TV is again, premium TV features I mentioned at the beginning, and they don't stop with uh, picture quality. One of the 
more interesting things you have with this TV is called Game Zone. Uh, if you have a console or PC hooked up to the TV, you can pull up a menu that'll tell you what frame rate the game is in, if it's an HDR, if it's picking up VRR, uh, if auto low latency is on. It takes the guesswork out of wondering whether or not your games are running uh, and looking their best. Now, this TV does not have 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, it is capped at 60, so bear that in mind. So if you're watching this and you're like, that sounds great, but I want 120 hertz or I want mini LED technology, uh, Hisense does have options that will sort of fill those gaps as you get from the lower end uh, to the higher end. So on the back, you'll have three 4K 2.1 ports, again, 60 hertz only, uh, one of those capable of eARC. So for the most part, you're getting premium features at that lower uh, price point. Uh, for the UI, you also have access to Google TV as the operating system. So that's got built-in voice control, both on the remote and the TV itself. If you're kind of person that doesn't like the TV listening to you, Hisense actually added a physical switch on the bottom of the set so you can turn off uh, the active listening mode if you want to. On the remote side, it's pretty lightweight, everything you need to do on a remote. Sound is about what you'd expect for this set, or really any other TV set. If you're in a small room, it's fine. It's not gonna be the richest, most bass heavy sound out there. I think my Blake and advice for about any TV out there is to, if you can, uh, get a sound bar or surround sound for your TV for you. Uh, another unique feature about this TV, and I talked about it earlier, there's a web browser built in. You can hook up a keyboard and mouse straight to the TV and do some basic web browsing. It's not fast, but it does work. If that's something that you might need, maybe access a Plex server or something, uh, it's there for you. So that's the TV, and I don't think anything here should be surprising. If you take anything away from what Hisense is doing, it's that they just want people to look at their TVs and consider them as they go to buy a new set. Their presence in the US is growing. I think they want people to see how good their sets are at the price. That's why they're willing to sort of give that 100 bucks back to do it. If you're in the market for a TV at really varying sizes, they've got a bunch of different options here, check out Hisense. Again, literally no risk to, to try it. I think you'll be pretty impressed if you do.